Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play One More 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in the next episode where we will collect the ancient Fabricator's um, relic I didn't pronounce it correctly anyhow now that Sir Ambrose caught up um, Karadok has bravely eliminated the Eldari war machines I am able to approach the ruined shrine where the long extinct um, denizens of this planet secured the artifact although I have no idea how they did so the Eldari presence is still strong the battle promises to be a tough one the Harlequin who offered me valuable assistance Assistance through this um, arduous journey is also here. Considering the nature of these mysterious Xenos, I still only uh, still have an uneasy feeling about her involvement. We have the up-to-date Arga information. The vicinity of the ruins is swarming with Juafal Eldari. At least the Crimson Wanderer took care of the potential reinforcements. The Elder will pose a considerable threat. Have you thought about deploying the Separatoc again? I cannot risk the safety of the artifact by sending in a war machine with the most devastating weaponry in the entire system. Noted. The tech brief is trying to scan the area for further information. I'm on my way to the ruins. Contact me when the tech priest is finished with the scans. So, what you might have noticed, guys, here is that we have different kinds of um, construct with us. Um, I wanted to try around a little bit, that was the reasoning I did that. So, two no constructs which are not as uh, well, let's how do I say that? Not as fast as I wish, but that is for me right now fair enough. They, especially the big bot there, is they are doing a lot of damage. Although I'm right now honestly not really certain. What is more remarkable is that I still have no idea why you are assisting me at all. Why do you care? I am nothing but a speck of dust in a terrible storm that will one day awaken a god. If that was meant to reassure me, you have failed. So, um, we can equip the big guy here with arranged and close combat weapons, um, or close combat we weapons. I have, um, I have put him with um, ranged, uh, close combat energy fists or force fists, I think. Um, I'm not certain where or how I will equip them in the future. I don't even know whether I will keep him, although as a tank, I think he's good, but um, I think he's not tanking the right way. I find your stubbornness astonishing, human. You have caused enough pain and suffering already. Whatever is hiding under that force field, it is ours. Alright, let's... Oh my god, there are so many enemies here. And of course, everyone is coming to us. That of course is clear. Why should they not? Let's resummon the big guy. We are, so to say, a little bit in a world of hurt here because there are quite a lot of enemies just punching it at us. Why ever? Okay, that was not good, but we cleared out the hard-hitting enemies right here. That try was good. Let's then resummon this dude. And the main implant, I, of course, will... Okay, I'm not going for the digital weapons because I don't like to use them, honestly. So we still have a huge problem when all the enemies are targeting us. The area scan completed. Highly irregular energy signature located. That signature most certainly marks the fabricator's energy. It must be the artifact. Correct. This is the ideal destination. Xenos taint must be purified. So, as I said before, with the constructs, there's going to be a little bit 
um, of a finding out thing going on. I'm not certain what I like and what I don't like, but against these smaller groups like it was with the other guys, everything's just fine. But once you engage a larger, more heavy hitting group like this one, I think it is not as good, but that was not that bad. So switching to close combat then, as before, not the ideal thing to do. But what shall we do? We have just a close combat weapon equipped. Why? Just don't use it, huh? That is what I am thinking. Switching back to ranged, turning the camera intensity a little bit. And then here we are. We should find a clue right here. Spider down. And I should turn around the tinsy. So many of them the remains of the Savance expedition, but I am an inquisitor. I will not fail. You are not allowed to fail, just yet. <laughs> you have the living, breathing key to the property. Okay, that is of course a nasty little group here. And we are under complete utter attacks, so that's it. That is um, the downside with this character. One thing I am by now not really, really good at, at surviving such ambushes. I am not certain how we can survive that. That is the bad part. Did we pull an enemy? I don't hope that. Obviously we did. But um, smaller groups are just fine. I am honest, I'm feeling not confident to attack the large group up there, but I think my constructs just um, did that decision for me. A succubus? What are bloody Dark Elder doing here? That is the big question. I hate them. I hate them succubuses. They are very, very nasty, especially if you have to face them alone. That of course is not very good. But down she is. As I said, I did not want to engage here, but note the memory crystal is most probably a poem of some sort. Beginning with a praise of the Harlequins describing them basically as warriors and performers who have no allegiance to any craft world. They are described as fast, deadly and very sophisticated creatures within unique with unique grace and emotions that tend to lean towards the extremes. This introduction is followed by vision-like depiction of a place that gives colossal importance to the Eldari race. Raw transcription of the excerpt. There is a place deep within the maze that spreads between the, between the stars in the space and the tainted confusion. The warp in the heart of the living twisting labyrinths lies the repository of hidden knowledge, a vast collection of books still unwritten or lost forever or eradicated with extreme prejudice. Here lies the truth and the answers to all our questions. Conclusion, this gibberish must be referring to the existence of the Black Library, the sole source of ancient knowledge for the um, Elder race. It is supposed to exist in a webway outside of both the real space and the immaterium. So, kill the Warlock police. And kill it quickly. So, this one is of course tanking the um, damage, at least a little bit, that is good. And we killed them both. I would like to reactivate it, but I can't. And there it is. Back we have it. And that is nice. Another 
so as you see I'm trying to um, killing off the trash mobs here because that is where the nastiness comes from but we are going to utterly fail here and just die that was at least or again a little bit of bad luck um, a combination of going um, quite by um, accidents to say the least into a um, big group of enemies there which I did not want it they combined and that is the bad part here so let me try to um, kill off some trash mobs before we go on so now of course a grenade would have been the ideal solution for us Can I resummon the big guy? Yes, I can. So, where's my big guy? Okay, he's on cooldown. That, of course, is not good. Um, the second one's on cooldown as well. So, we are dead again. But the good part is we have our cooldown. Sorry that we are dying so often right here. But sometimes this is just it. I don't know whether I'm doing too too much wrong here so again let me try to um, take down the trash mobs that should at least help out a little bit and if the ref guard is down that shall help us out as well So that is very, very hard to do right now, especially if we later on go into having no supplies anymore. Okay, let me take on those. Okay, and another battle, which I did not want. So switched back to ranged combat. Okay, a mine, very great. So last time he was at 4000 HP, now he's at 2000, under 2000 right now, so he's quickly going to fall without the combined Eldari force, and that is the key moment right here. So this one is down as well, and then we are uh, nearly at the energy field right there, although why ever these were coming from or wherever. So down, down, down. And here we are. I should have surmised that the relic has been kept safe for countless millennia by a preservation field of some sorts. The field is impenetrable. Identical energy barrier has already been logged on the Martyr, protecting the status chamber of the Alpha subject. The fabricators created this artifact with a specific operator in mind. If the Alpha subject is the one, she might be able to interact with the field. Logical assumption. Inquisitor, you have incoming. And that is of course not very good now. Let's try to stay alive here. But this is not looking very good. Oh my goodness, you see, these groups are punishing us here. I don't have a clue what I can do different, guys. If you have knowledge what I can, could have done better, please tell me. It is very, very annoying currently. Although even um, the change of fabrics might be something but I am not certain here so 
I am going for trash mobs here because one simple reason I think once many guys are, um, you know, sh um, shooting, sh uh, I want to say shooting, shooting at us, that of course is not good for us. All the combined damage was very, very nasty. So now he's alone, that means we can take him down quickly and simply, so to say. Switching them back to close combat and just take him down. So, what I've learned from bringing down trash mobs more quickly. Sergeant, I need the Alpha Briar. Send her to me. Allow me to join the fight, Inquisitor. Anything could happen to us here, Thorn. Anything. If I do not make it back, you must deliver all my findings to the Conclave. Affirmative. And we have victory. No, not yet. Okay. Are you serious, Inquisitor? I feel feel a resonance with this thing, but none of us know what will happen if I step closer. I give you an artifact from the dawn of the universe, the key that might unlock your true potential, and suddenly you are afraid. I was only making an observation in the light of my recent ordeals. I hope you don't expect me to apologize. My expectations are irrelevant. My orders matter, however. If this is indeed my legacy, you can expect a heartfelt apology from me. We will discuss your impertinence later. Now proceed. Bravo! What a fabulous performance. Inquisitor, my only remaining part in this play is to take the Alpha Pariah with me and let the curtain fall. I knew that I couldn't trust you. You have manipulated me, Eldar. I have merely woven all the threads together. Twinning the fate of the Talthal Eldari and yourself, Inquisitor, until you all made this moment happen together. I've warned you once. Playing games with an Inquisitor is dangerous, even for your kind. This is not a game, human. The Anathema Ultima must be adorned with the Crown of Emptiness. Only then will she enter the Immaterium to fulfill a destiny both frightening and majestic. I suspect that you have other plans for her. The Anathema Ultima is the brightest glimmer of hope for us. For the Inari, this is inevitable. Oh, 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 we fight. Okay, 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 okay. Rather switching to ranged combat. So, um... There was always something very, very shady about her, so that was clear. And since she is a Harlequin, you or the Inquisitor already had sense of that. That is the good part. So just take her down. I was expecting at least some assistance from you. It was your battle to fight, not mine. And now you talk like the Harlequin. How are you feeling? It is difficult to explain. My will is... It is a barbed, poisonous thing. And it is also smooth and cold as obsidian. And it is a weapon. And a key. And the tincture that heals the black wound on the world. I don't like this. The Margos will take a look at you on the ship. Alright, good. We are through. Good, good, good. Although, we have died a couple of times, which is... Um, well, I wanted to say necessary, but well, that's just the game with this new class. So, I will have to test our two constructs there um, more. Overall, I think they were good. Oh, a little animation for the first time from the outside. That's quite cool. We have gathered here to bring forth the prophecy that was foretold at the dawn of the galaxy. The Alpha Pariah shall be adorned by the crown of emptiness and destroy the Dark Nexus by sailing into the Imperium. Very poetic, also fundamentally wrong. 
The Dark Nexus is not our priority here. Fabius Bile is one of the most abhorrent adversaries of the Imperium. We shall attack his hideout. I have traveled here on the Martyr, now properly purged and blessed with the zealots of my order on board. It should be a sufficient force. So very hereticous of you. May I remind you that Bile Starfort is inconveniently close to the most terrible warp anomaly ever seen in this sector. They use this Alpha Pariah to destroy Bile. That's where her true capabilities lie, don't they? Before we deal with the Dark Nexus, we have to eliminate the Primogenitor. I must object. We simply cannot allow the Alpha Pariah to get close to Bile. That traitor played a huge part in her creation. What if he seizes control of her? Use her to obliterate the Dark Nexus, which is also the source of Bile's power. Then we will deal with the Primogenitor on our own. You know the Alpha Pariah the best, Inquisitor. I think you should have your say before I chime in. Um, morally, a uh, morality choice. The Alpha Pariah is our weapon against Chaos and it would be a waste not to employ her powers against Bile. First, she can destroy the Dark Nexus afterwards. I think we should send the Alpha Pariah into the Dark Nexus first, which threatens the entire sector and probably empowers Bile's experiments. I'll go with it that one. It is most unfortunate, but I must respectfully disagree with your decision, Inquisitor. It seems we have reached an impasse. And honestly, this is her fate we are talking about. This should be her decision. Whatever action the Alpha Pariah takes, it will have colossal consequences. I simply don't have a say in this matter. Nonsense! We are Inquisitors. We rule over life and death for the sake of the Imperium. Inquisitor Mercer, I really appreciate your concerns. Inquisitor Krabart, I even see your point. But I made my decision a long time ago. I will follow the prophecy, but first, I will kill Fabius Bile. I have seen some of my unsuccessful iterations in Uther's laboratory. The cursed handiworks of Bile. I have to stop him and end this cycle of suffering and pain. I want to destroy that worm. On one condition. What would that be? You, Inquisitor, will accompany me and we will face Fabius Bile together. I wouldn't have it any other way. Good, so that is a nice little twist. Well, I like that is, um, there are now four Inquisitors here. That is quite cool. Okay, the Wizard Grand Prophecy. I've managed to find the crown of the emptiness, the engine artifact that will help the Alpha Parry control in channel her unique abilities. I also had to fight and eliminate the Elder Harlequin, who assisted me through all the way, only to capture the Alpha Parry with the artifact. She was an Aminari working on the resurrection of their dead god and considered the Alpha Pariah an asset to achieve her goals. Alright, claiming that new level reached, that is cool and amazing that we already had. I'll go with this one. You're not 26, so I'll go with this one. Just as simple as that, I have to say. 15, of course, ain't no good. We are at 114, 87 is no upgrade at all. 17 data flux, nothing there. Uh, 113. To be honest, I'll go with this weapon because I don't like the overheating there at all so guys that right now brings us to the end of this episode and you know that um i really thank you for watching if you guys actually have enjoyed this episode then please guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and hopefully hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye